Hello, this is HQ Jones, and this is HQ Videos for You. And we're kicking off our Dollar Tree Dollar Movie DVD Blu-ray video with Dollar Tree number one. Let's see what we got in here. Stopping home to get my battery because these iPhone batteries suck. Going to get my batteries. I charge these up. All I'm thinking of it. Big shout out to all you guys who leave comments. I really appreciate it. Sometimes you just have really shitty days and just like a little nice comment, like nice pickup, or whatever. It kind of helps. So big thumbs up if you leave comments. Thank you very much. Let me get back to my. Dollar Tree, huh? Okay, I'm back in my car. I have battery. Spare battery. Pipes number one from Dollar Tree number one. I had to put some warmer clothes on it. Please forgive me. Please forgive me if you're in the Midwest for, for, for saying this, but it's a little chilly. It's like 50, 40 degrees. So if you're in the Midwest, you're like, shut the fuck up. But I know it's chilly for Florida, so. Let's head to Dollar Tree number two. Let's see what we find. Okay. 
This is Dollar Tree number two. Let's see what they have. Okay, that's package number two from Dollar Tree number two. And let's head out to Dollar, Term Dollar Tree number three. The sunny Florida is not so sunny today. Nice overcast. Like the preacher said in Vampire in Brooklyn, sunny every day you wouldn't appreciate a sunny day okay so dollar tree number three you see around see it's a jury day see what's popping and dollar tree number three I collect them, so hmm? I collect them. It's a lot cheaper than a dollar a piece, yeah. I do the same thing. They're like, he literally calls, are they in yet? Are they in yet? Are they in yet? <laughs> I'll just stop by and look. He comes in and he's like, I'm looking for this one, and this one, and this one. He just came in yesterday. I to see what you got.
Thank you. Okay, that is package number three. Number two down there, number one. And we're headed to Dollar Tree number four. Hold on. Okay, that's the bag from store number four. Only two movies, a little lonely salary bag. So we're gonna do Dollar Tree number five and six, then head back home. Okay, it's Dollar Tree number five. And let's see what they have for Dollar Tree.
bag after this Dollar Tree. There was actually nothing there. Uh, let's head to the last Dollar Tree. That's Dollar Tree number six. I think. This is the sixth and final Dollar Tree on my Dollar Tree day. Dollar Tree Blu-ray and DVD day. Let's see what they got, then I'm headed home. Again, we have another snake eyes. I talked to one of the stalkers there. <clears throat> uh, she said she didn't know if they had any more movies. They're still pulling stuff out, so I might check back there tomorrow. So let's head home with what I have here. Okay, I'm back at the Black Cave. Have the movies in the bags. About to get them out the bags, out the wrappers, and we'll get into this in a minute. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I have all the wrappers off. Count of 51 different movies. Just an interesting side note here. When I scan them in, this might just be something specific to the CLZ movie app that I use to store my movies. But for example, this movie 2035, when you scan it in, if you can read it here, it comes in as Forbidden Dimensions, and the same thing with Quantum Voyage, that one comes through as The Black Hole, if I can find it, The Black Hole, and this one, when it <clears throat> doesn't scan in the barcode, doesn't recognize it, and didn't recognize Stan Lee and Kevin Smith also. Just a little interesting side note, but hold on for a moment and we'll go over these one by one. Okay, first we have The U. <clears throat> this is a specific double feature ESPN 30 for 30. And if it's one I'm thinking of, it's one regarding professional athletes going broke and some of the reasons behind that and some of the after stories of professional life kind of well, it is very sad. So, if this is the one I'm thinking of, 30 for 30 ESPN. Broke. Next, we have a sci fi, and most of these, if not all, I believe are blind buys. So, I can't tell you if they're good or not. If you've seen any of these, leave, some, uh, leave a note in the comments section, please. 2035 a new breed of apocalypse horror the terminator the terminator meets mad max interesting oh this is the you broke oh okay two different episodes broken the you Next we have Army of Frankensteins, the North, the South, the Undead. Interesting. Oh, this is a, that's green? Yeah, wow. Get up with focus, 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 there you go. Scream edition, wow. Interesting. Army of Darkness, a nice, Inside art. Next we have Astro. Be careful for be careful what you search for. That's the truth. It's like a sci-fi non-rated tale. Go in there. 
There you go. Astro. Next we have Atomica. Only person I know is Tom Sizemore. Truth is best kept off the grid. Atomica. This is a, a lot of E1 releases. A lot of those. Atomica. Next we have the Bachelor Party. Uh, only people I recognize in here is Genuine, the singer. He looks familiar. And she looks familiar. I wonder if that's Essence Atkins or Christina Keys. Nevertheless, the Bachelor Party. That's nice. Image release. Boy Falls. This looks like an action type picture. Another E1 release. I wonder if these companies are going out of business or something. It just seems like all these releases are coming out in bunches. E1 Magnet. RLJ. A lot of those releases. Here. This is out of all the stores. I only found one copy of this Broken Saints, the animated comic epic. I don't know what this is, but it looks cool as hell. I'm sure I get it loose here. Interesting. Muy interesante. Interesting. Broken Saints. Next I have Canyon. She looks familiar. I don't know if that's Ivan Strof Strofsky. Not sure. It's a magnet release. It's more of a thriller. The Canon. Canyon. <clears throat> Next I have Celeste and Jesse Forever. I know Andy Samberg and Elijah Wood, Rashida Jones, Emma Roberts. So it looks interesting. I uh, like all those actors and actresses. This is a Sony Picture Classic. Again, if you've seen any of these movies, leave a comment in the comment section, please. Celeste and Jess Forever, or Jesse. Jess or Jesse. A Goldberg Checkpoint. Looks like a cheesy action flick. Checkpoint. Uh, Dare. I was on the borderline of getting getting this. I don't know any of the actors or actresses. Emmy Rosam, Zach Guilford, Ashley Ashley Springer. But I read the back and it looked <clears throat> looks somewhat interesting. Image release. So I figure it's worth a shot. Dare. A Dark Truth. A lot of names. Andy Garcia, Eva Longoria, Forrest Whitaker. I think this is more of a suspense type picture. Another E1 release. Dark Truth. Mm. 
Next we have a divorce party. The divorce party. Again, don't know anyone in there. Matilda Lutz. Claire Holt. Never heard of them. But it looked interesting. Okay, this is uh, the Gravitas, Gravitas Ventures. That's see a lot of those pictures on Amazon Prime. So it's like an independent label. Another horror picture, Door to the Other Side, incredibly tense with one hell of a climax. We'll have to see, letting them in was his way out, really. So I think pretty much got me the cover art got me. Okay, on those blockbuster things. We have another E1 release, Easy Money. They thought they found Easy Money. They were dead wrong. Don't know a lot about this, but I can somewhat imagine the plot. Hopefully it's not too predictable. Easy Money. Next we have the English teacher with Julianne Moore, Michael the Angarno. And I don't know any but I only know Julian Julianne Moore. The English teacher. And get the Blu-ray and the DVD. The English teacher. Next we have Family Confessions, another horror, another nice artwork that kind of caught my attention. Inspired by true events, they inherited much more than a house, really. They have roaches, lice, bedbugs, I don't know. But family Possessions, looks interesting. This is what this is for, what is this for? Four label. I know you see four. I see a couple of those in there. Next we have a BBC Earth. I like the BBC nature pictures. I hope that's not my stomach. I hope you can't hear that. I'm not hungry though. Anyway, this is a great white shark, a legend, a living legend. The slipcover. Subcover. Next, we have a haunting at Silver Falls. I, I know I have a copy of this. I'm pretty sure I've seen this. It's a bootleg copy, so it's nice to be able to replace a legal, original copy for just one dollar. Makes me feel good. A haunting at Silver Falls. Next we have Immortal Wars. I was very apprehensive to get this. Whenever I see Tom Sizemore and Eric Roberts together in a, together in a movie, uh, but like I said, for a dollar, eh, it might not be too too awful. Immortal Wars, another E1 release. Immortal Wars. Next we have I'm Not Ashamed, this, the inspiring true story of Rachel Joyce Scott at Columbine High School. So that might be interesting. And this also has the Blu-ray digital copy and insert. And the DVD. I'm not ashamed. 
Next we have this E1, another E1 with a nice slip cover and plant it. this up okay and plant it next we have the job with Ron Perlman and Joe Pantoliano assuming it's some kind of heist movie Job. Next we have Knight of Cups. I was on the board of getting this. I only saw one copy out of all, <clears throat> all the, maybe two, out of all the Dollar Trees I went to. But it does have Kate Blanchett, Natalie Portman, and Kristen Bale. Knight of Cups. Next, I think I've seen this before, just decided to pick it up. The Last Circus from director Ale Alexia de la Iglesia, Alexis of the Church. Okay. Uh, the Last Circus, Bra brilliant, bizarre, dazzling, and utterly demented. The Last Circus. Another sci fi, Moon Trap, targeted, Target Earth. One. One small step for man, one giant battle for a woman. Interesting. And this is E1. One of E1's in New Asylum. Another horror picture from E1, The Nanny, Watch the Children. Watch the Children what? The Nanny. Next, I like these guys always playing some kind of creepy role. What's his name? Is that William William Fitchner or Michael? It has to be William Fitchner. The neighbor. Danger lives next door. This is a vertical release. Vertical. The neighbor. I've seen this, I believe, on Netflix or Amazon Prime, or at least seen the title. I haven't actually watched the movie. I'm not exactly sure what it's about. Pure insane delight, but it looks interesting. The Neon Demon. I think when I saw it, I just immediately grabbed it because I've seen it before. The Neon Demon. <clears throat> Let's see a Paradise. This just looks interesting with Russell Crowe, Holly Hunter, um, Octavia Spencer. So, just looks interesting. This is an RLJ release. Paradise. Next, we have my man Danny Trail and Pastor Shepherd. As soon as I saw this, I had to pick it up. Danny Trail, Love Thy Neighbor. Just to give you a little synopsis. Shepherd lives with his elderly drug addicted mother, who now faces bankruptcy after being swindled into giving her life savings to a duplicitous televangelist. Desperate to erase her debt, Shepherd turns to his bad tempered and violent neighbor. Yeah, I gotta see this. I'm sure this is wild. Probably along the line of badasses. Danny Trejo and Pastor Shepherd. We have Rock Hudson and Doris Day and Pillow Talk. And actually, before the days of VCRs, 
DVDs before there's actual cable. There's a ABC, CBS, NBC, PBS, and then ABC affiliate. So on Sundays or nothing else, I'll probably end up watching something like this, Pillow Talk with Rock Hudson and Doris Day. I actually like this stuff. I haven't seen this in years and definitely have not watched this on a Blu-ray or DVD. So it should be interesting to see how this looks. Pillow Talk. <clears throat> Next we have a question of faith. Um, I recognize him and I think that's it. Question of faith. Oh, is that Kim Fields? It looks like Kim Fields. Maybe, yep, Kim Fields. Okay. And it comes with the Blu ray and the DVD and an insert. I love the digital code. Question of faith. Next, you have another sci fi. Is that real life? Real life? Immortality is only a matter of time. Oh, a sci fi film. Well, that's from a sci fi channel. It's a universal release. Alive. <clears throat> Next, we have another E1 release, A Quantum Voyage. No, it's Malcolm McDowell. Boy, Dean Kane is not looking good these days. Wow, you don't like Superman. You don't even like Jor-El anymore. A uh, Quantum Voyage. And for some reason, under the COZ app, this kind of up under as black hole quantum voyage next we have another Robert movie the curse of Robert another interesting one Robert and the toy maker under the COZ app it just comes under toy maker so I accidentally bought another Robert one by mistake so I'll probably return that get a bag of nuts or something cashews curse of Robert You have a Blu-ray from one of the guys that brought you Old School and Road Trip. Probably not one of the, the better guys, I'm, I'm guessing. Search Party. Leave no bro behind, dude. Search Party. And you have the Blu-ray. Yeah, got a, another one, another code. Cool search party. Another song, another one I haven't heard of, but has a lot of big names: Michael Fassbender, Ryan Gosling, Natalie Portman, Rooney Mara. I'm not too familiar with Rooney Mara. Song to song. And got the Blu-ray. Song to song. This is the other one that went scan in. Stan Lee, <clears throat> Stan Lee and Kevin Smith saved the world. I ain't sure what this is about, but I do like the, the late great Stan Lee and I do like Kevin Smith. And I do like them a dollar's worth, so that's why I picked it up. Kevin Lee and Kevin Smith. Stan Lee and Kevin Smith saved the world. Next we have Street, get ready to fight. Rocky meets Blood Sports. It comes up with these crazy tags. Got an E1 release. Rocky meets Blood Sport. Yeah. Rocky meets Bullwinkle. Um, turn around. There we go. Street. Thunderbirds. I've seen this. I don't know how long I've seen this, so it just never interests me enough to get it. It's usually four or five dollars or more, but for a buck, 
the boy and I will watch this. It looks interesting. I think that's Ben Kingsley, it looks like. Oh, that's uh, the late, I can't think of it, the guy who was in Frailty. Interesting. Huh. Thunderbirds. Ben Kingsley. That's the other guy's name. Thunderbirds. Next we have, I like my documentaries from Academy Award winner Alex Gribney. We Steal Secrets, the story of WikiLeaks. The truth has consequences. This is actually somewhat relevant under the conditions what's going on with uh, Assange right now. <clears throat> we Steal Secrets. Next is actually somewhat funny. I saw this a while ago, I think on a plane ride. Welcome to, to the jungle. I have a bootleg copy of this. Wanted to get this on Blu-ray, but happy to get it on DVD also. John claude Van Dammit is my man. I, I really like him. As he's gotten older, he doesn't take himself so seriously. He plays comedic roles as well as still the action role. So kudos to JVC. Welcome to the jungle. And I believe in this. He just plays a more animated comedic version of, him, of himself. Welcome to the jungle. Next we have Luke Goss and your move. The only reason I got this is Luke Goss. I like him. He usually ends up in pretty good action pictures. Nice flip cover. The E1 release disc. I don't know, for some reason, all these E1 releases look like they're rental movies. I know they're not rental movies. They just, I guess that little logo where they have it looks like a rental movie. Your move. Next, this is a, a, 20, a 20 movie joint. Nightmare Fuel. And I'll just kind of let you look at some of the titles. The back. I mean the side, the spine, that's the back. Let's open this boy up, and this is what, Mill Creek? Mill Creek, of course. And they have them all stacked here. Let's see if I can, yeah, they're all stacked. I'm not gonna take them out. The triple feature, Fast as Hell. The Junkman, Deadline, Auto Theft, and Gone in 60 Seconds. Two. I didn't know there was a second one. I know they have the original and they did the remake with Nicolas Cage. Fast as hell. Another triple joint. King Kong, King Kong vs. Godzilla, and King Kong Escapes. So if I'm in the mood for any kind of crazy King Kong, Godzilla stuff, I have my movies right here. <clears throat> King Kong. King Kong vs. Godzilla and King Kong Escapes. This one's really cool. <clears throat> I love the Super Friends growing up. Hopefully I can find volume one somewhere, but this is volume two. The Super Friends. Guys, um, the Wonder Twins, the Wonder Twins. I wonder if they're going to do a, a live action of the Wonder Twins. That would be interesting. Super Friends. And these are the last two I got here. The mini lives of Sherlock Holmes over 30 hours for one buck. Are you kidding me? Couldn't pass this up. Nice booklet. Look at that. It's 
like a mega digi book. Very cool. Very cool. For one buck, yeah, I'm not mad at all. Very cool. The blue round. Now I'm curious to see what's in here. Hold on. Let me see if I can open this up and see what's in here. Hold on. Okay. This is very cool too. Just how this opens up. And this slides out. In this one, okay. This is a, a real mini series, all for a buck. Right, so, poster The Broken Saints. Yeah, I think my son's gonna love watching this. Hopefully, it's like the rating for this was age appropriate. Yeah, one, two, get that, pull that. that, that, and that. Yeah, that's from that cool. Let me put this stuff up and hold on. As you can see, I have everything laid out. The artwork, the DVDs, the Blu-rays to be put back into their perspective folders, and the artwork to be put back in their individual genres and categories. So again, if you haven't subscribed yet, what the hell are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers before the end of 2020. So anything you can do, share, like, I greatly appreciate it. If nothing else, give me the big thumbs up. Other than that, may the best of your past be the worst of your future. Peace.